Today I'm going to be doing a look featuring my Too Faced Enchanted Glamourland palette that I received for Christmas. I um, had this in my haul video, um, my Christmas haul video, which I'll link. Um, and I also did a full review of all the products in this palette that I will link down in the bottom bar as well. I'll be filming the, tutorial, the tutorials for this before I film my full review so I can have used the products for a little while and been able to give a comprehensive review for you guys, but I'll be uploading the review first. So um, go take a look at that if you want to know a full review of this product. Um, I really do like the look that I just create um, that I just followed for this. The look that I'm doing is the first card in this palette, and it's the flirty fairy look. It's the pink look. They give you three cards um, as you know included in this palette as suggested. Um, you know, color combinations, how to use it. This is a really pretty pink and brown look, a uh, very subtle wearable look. I really, really like it. Um, I didn't really like the cards in the first set, but so far I'm really enjoying the color combinations, suggested color combination cards in this set. Um, this is the Flirty Fairy look. So if you guys are interested in seeing how these colors apply and how I got the Flirty Fairy look, stay tuned. <laughs>
Okay, so that's the finished eye look, and so the card says for the cheeks and lips to use the blush and bronzer and um, lip gloss that comes with the set, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, for the blush, it says just use the blush that we have. So this is the blush that comes with the set. It's the La Vienne Rose. Very pretty rosy pink blush with gold shimmer in it so gorgeous so I'm just gonna take a blush brush dip it in there head very pretty blush place it right in the apples of my cheeks I already actually went ahead and did a little contouring with a matte Milani brusher that um matte Milani bronzer that I own because the bronzer that comes with this kit is very light and shimmery so um... and I don't, you know, I like to use a little bit of a deeper matte bronzer for a contour um... and then it says to go ahead and use the snow bunny bronzer that comes with the kit so I'm actually going to use this as a highlighter with an angled blush brush um, here it is right here, really pretty light highlight again it's got gold shimmer to it and it's a bronzer um, so I'm just going to lightly sweep that onto my angled blush brush and I'm going to apply this to the high planes of my cheekbones right here. It's a really pretty subtle bronzy look which I think is nice for this because everything's a little cooler with the pink and it gives a really nice pretty highlight over that blush and I'm just this looks, I love this bronzer as a highlight. It looks very sheer application, of course, and it looks really very pretty with um, that blush. Just a great um, combination. Okay, and then for the lips, it says to go ahead and use the um, Glamour Gloss in Pillow Talk. This is supposed to be plumping. Um, this is like a, it's got like gold shimmer. It's like a really pretty neutral pink color with, I guess, a little bit of gold shimmer. Apply that right to my lips. It actually uh, doesn't have too intense of a tingling feeling. It feels like mint to me. It feels like wearing a peppermint lip gloss. I've worn this twice before, and honestly, I don't really see any plumping effects. but I do like that minty, um, tingly feel um, to the gloss. I really do enjoy that. I love using mint glosses, and um, I really like the color. So, so with that all done, this is the finished look. I really um, enjoyed these shadows that I just used here. I am actually going to be filming um, the three tutorials featuring these um, three cards that come with the kit that suggested um, color combinations um, and then at the end of that I'm going to be filming a full review of this palette and all its products but I think I'm actually going to upload them in or the reverse order I'm going to upload the full um, the full review of the palette first and then upload the tutorials because um, I just would like to film the tutorials and actually use the product before I, I do the review of it, but I just, um, I feel like I want to um, upload it in the opposite direction, and I did the same thing for the first palette, um, the first Too Faced palette where I did the thing with the three cards. So yeah, this was the flirty fairy look, this was the pink look, very pretty um, pink, just natural colors, very subtle and absolutely gorgeous. Love all the shadows that I used here. The pink is absolutely gorgeous on the lid. Wonderful, perfect pink um, for a lid color and I love Velvet Revolver already. I already have it in the other um, Too Faced palette that I own, the Naturalized palette, and I already love that color, but this does, I've never worn it with a pink like this before and I absolutely love it. And then the liner color, um, the exclusive brown sparkle color, I actually um, use that as a liner under 
underneath and then just brought it into the outer V just to deepen it up a little. So that was really much, pretty much the only thing that I changed um, as far as the card goes for this look. I just added a little bit of that liner color um, into my outer V. And then the In the Buff shadow that I use for the highlight is a gorgeous highlight color. Really like it. Um, I think that'd be great for a lot of skin tones. And I've only used the shadow insurance a few times, but um, so far I'm really liking it. But um, I'll give more review of a review on the shadow insurance later. The blush seems to be really gorgeous. It's on upon first application. I'll see how well it wears, as well as the um, the bronzer and the lip gloss. I really love the minty tingle that I'm having right now. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This will be the first tutorial of three using the three cards. Um, like I said, this is the pink one, the flirty fairy one. And I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, like I said, I'll be filming a full review and uploading that before this. So if you want to see a full review of the palette, just click the link down in the bottom bar. And um, I'll eventually be putting the links, depending on when you watch this video, I'll eventually be putting the links to the other two looks down in the bottom bar. So um, if I've already filmed them, they'll be down there. If not, keep a lookout for those. So I hope that you like this. I really am enjoying this palette um, first couple times out. Really great color selection, really great quality. Um, but I'll get more in-depth reviews later. So stay tuned for the second um, look in this. I don't know which one I'm going to be doing yet. There's Forest Nymph and Violet Femme left. Um, I guess it just depends on my mood for the day that I choose to do this tutorial, whether I'll be doing the green or the purple. Um, so I hope that you guys really enjoyed this, and stay tuned for the other tutorials. Everybody have a good day. Bye.